Imagine if this was like your first time booting this up with zero context of what this game was supposed to fucking be. Oh, you want to see what the first time- What would you be feeling at this instant right now? <laughs> what did I get myself into? I only spent like 20 bucks on this game. <laughs> Is this gonna steal my soul? Yes. It's actually a, a really long ritual. This whole game is... Shit, it's loud as fuck. That's why I wanna hear it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tamari Damasi. Yes. Let's yes! Just watch as he fucking flies. Give me the quirky Japanese bullshit. Mmm, swan. Mmm, turtle. I wish I was high right now just so I could experience this like this. I like the chest hair. That panda looking to fuck. You know what? I booted this game up a long time ago. I don't remember this. You don't? No. I have the original over there, and I remember it from that, but I do not remember it doing it the first time I booted this up. This could be just something that they did for the re-roll. Zach. Yeah? If time is relative, why don't more people in Alabama fuck clocks? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, I like that. There we go. We're back, motherfuckers! Hello! It's we're, gonna be a good damn time, man. We're, we're playing roly poly -oly. We're, we're remember, playing... Remember that, that fucking shit from... I don't know, what was the thing before Cartoon Network that was all about... Uh, Nickelodeon? No! There was literally... There was a cartoon a long time ago called roly poly -oly, or something like that. I, I need to find a picture of it to show you, but it's fucking crazy. I don't know... I got no idea what the fuck you're talking about. That's it's weird. It's like it's 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 almost like a it's almost like it's an SCP because like you bring it up <laughs> you bring it up and people are like what the fuck are you talking about? But then you know like you can do that with everything. I hate that fucking move. Oh, quick turn. I'll use that a shitload. So if you guys have whiplash or anything, it's not my fault. <laughs> Wee. Wee. We're playing Katamari Damacy, not really Polioli. I don't know if I fucking said that or not. I'm gonna close yeah. my window because the wind is coming in and it might. You might be hearing some oogly 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 boogly. Which would probably be very annoying. There we go. I don't leave the sun coming in because I'm a vampire and I need my vitamin D. I am a vampire as well. Unfortunately, I'm not like a woman. I can't get it from any man I've come hey, across. Get that vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember the plot of this game. The king of the cosmos breaks all the fucking stars and then makes it our problem. Yeah. Because he's drunk or something. Yeah. Gets drunk and breaks all the stars in the galaxy. Oh, nice obscure shot. Thank God. Oh my God. I don't remember him breaking the moon. <laughs> Look at him go. If you ask the 13-year-old to learn how to animate, that's how they fucking do it. Just yeah. Spinning axis, go! Flying through the air. Whirlwind sprint. Oh no, someone broke everything. Behold my dog. It was not a dream. It's the size of a continent. <laughs> My balls are the moon. I lost one in Nam. It felt quite good to break everything. I don't even fucking care what this man is saying. He's just gonna keep talking. He drones yeah. on and on and on and on and on, man. Alright, time to get cracking. You don't really need to know the plot to this fucking game. It's just roll ball into thing to make ball bigger. Pretty much. All you gotta know. Fucking Twitter, man. What? Fucking Twitter. Twitter and its toxic er, masculinity. I say, I say that we embrace full lethality with masculinity and just go for the fucking throat. I'm tired of toxic. To I'm tired of waiting for people to die. I want them to die outright. I'm tired of toxic masculinity. I want lethal. I want masculinity. fully lethal masculinity. <laughs> fucking tired of it, man. Give me all of the shit. He keeps looking at me like I'm saying shit from a god's mouth. Uh, you say funny shit and I laugh at it. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but then you have that weird, like... Did he put my... I can see it on your face every single time. Did he come up that with that himself, or is that just something he bred? It's something about the, your, the cadence and the way that you deliver shit. It almost sounds like it's rehearsed. Oh, no, I wish. I wish I scripted my episodes. They'd be funnier. That's why some people like it when I'm just commentating on games and shit. Like, in game grinding. Hey, I picked up an ant! I didn't even know I could do that. 
I just saw it scurries. Some people prefer the other thing, but it takes a lot of fucking effort and it's annoying as shit to do, and then people like ten people watch it, so I don't fucking care. Nah. I don't fucking give a shit anymore. Same but reason Ego Raptor doesn't animate anymore. It takes a long time to fucking do, and not a lot of people watch it, and you don't get nearly as much money. Exactly. Why don't I just make gameplay videos because ten year olds will at least click on it and they'll be like, this guy's stupid, and then they'll click off, but at least I get a view. <laughs> I've got your views. <laughs> now I understand the clickbait method of thumbnails, man. Ah, fuck you, mouse! I'm gonna go get Jerry. Oh, I took the plug, but nothing else. It's been a long time since I've played this. Bear with me as I return to retardation. It's not working out. Return to Monkey. Have you ever seen a retarded chimp? <laughs> I mean, I've seen a chimp. I don't know how much worse it can get than a monkey. Say no, I haven't seen them. No, I just say maybe they're out there. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, how would we know? I mean, they're monkeys. They're documented. I mean, you could you could pick it. I mean, actually, no. Approaching one of those would probably be a very bad move because I mean, because you get monkey strength and uh, also yeah. retard strength. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it probably stacks. So probably, <laughs> it stacks. Probably, probably don't want to do that. Mm. At the very least, he gets AOE damage. <laughs> At the very fucking least. He's a sorcerer. <laughs> No, he just pounds. He's like Donkey Kong in Smash. He just ground pounds, and it's the whole area. It's <laughs> a down smash. Whole area. There's not a lot of big things on here to increase my girth. I think I was just hey, going to 10, though. Yeah, I am. That's probably why there's not a lot of things that increase my girth. <laughs> Time to see all the stuff I picked up. I hope it's an ant star. Even though I only picked up, like, one fucking hit. Oh, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought that was an informatic for don't touch batteries. Oh, just like in general. <laughs> it's like, what? Why is that here? Don't touch batteries, kids. They leak. We we know you're all out there looking at their batteries, salivate, being like, man, if only I could just touch that. No, no, not Suckle do it. on the sweet steam. <laughs> I like the way it stings ah, my yes, tongue. Pudding. Mm, everyone remembers pudding. Oh, fuck. This fucking game, man. Putting the star, of the movie. <laughs> Dude, what what would happen? Like, ah, oh, that made me think of something so retarded. Like Gen Z scientists, you know, like the okay. lol random type become yeah. like uh, astronomers and shit, and they discover okay. a star and they name it like cornbread or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Like, there's just no respect for space anymore. It's just... Hey, look, there's a new sparkly on my radar. I'm gonna name it Cod Swallop and go from there. His name's Cornbread. He's a good boy. This here's Street Corn. <laughs> it's stupid. Uh, I love it. I thought you were gonna go with, what if an, a Gen Z scientist just said, Sentient Pudding and go! And they just, it was literally like the movie Flubber, but Flubber took over the world. Like, have you seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2? I have only seen the first one. Okay, uh, in, in the, at the ending of it, the villain has, like, these plants on... Earth. Have you seen this? No. Hang on, let me spoil the ending. No, well, it, it doesn't spoil that the ending. It's, it's just, it's just... This, the, the fucking movie came out years ago! I don't know. I know, shit. I'm not gonna say No, that. anyway, uh, the... Ego is the, is the villain of the story, right? And at the very ending, he has planted, like, little, uh, blue plants over, like, all these other planets that have life yeah. and whenever he activates his plan this blue ooze just pours out of the plant and starts consuming the planet yeah. and so it's that but pudding yeah i could have just said tidal wave but it's pudding and it would have said the same thing it would have been two minutes longer and everyone would have been like you need to spoil the fucking guardians of the galaxy yeah, and Groot dies! Fucking suck me oh out. god why how could you vin diesel Vin Diesel got too traumatized whenever he lost that race to Jake, whatever the fuck his name is. Is that his name, Jake? Who are you talking about? I don't know, the guy who got in a car accident, and he died immediately. And then everyone was sad for like a month and everyone forgot about no it. I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about. All the more reason why my point is more salient. Aha ha, aha, aha. Yeah, just... Not that I'm making fun of the man's de- Oh, I hate when I get pencils. Pie show board, someone quick, call Iro. I need to get a tattoo. You are all over the place this fucking I'm activating round. my idiot brain. I don't sit down on this couch. Or couch, yeah. I don't sit on. The yeah, fuck it. I don't sit down on this couch often anymore. Leave me alone. Is he gonna get his tattoo? Uh, probably Uncle Iroh. Uncle Iroh. I like him. He's funny. 
I, he, he's the old man that I strive to. Yeah, you, shut up! You're always gonna tell me to get bigger. That's the, that's the point. Why can't it become bigger? Why can't you become tighter? <laughs> like throwing a hot dog down a hallway over here. Come on now. Fucking shit. I think that was originally uh, a Bobcat Goldthwait joke. <laughs> what, throwing a hot dog down a hallway? No, it was, uh, he was listening to these people fuck because he was in oh. like a... He was, <laughs> he was in I a need new material for a joke. <laughs> Let me he, listen to sex real no, quick. No, he was, he was like in a hotel and like the people in the room next to him were fucking... And they were like really, really loud. And he was like, yeah, the lady was like, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. And then she just kept saying it like, fuck me, fuck me. And I'm just thinking like, after the fourth fuck me, don't you think the guy would be like, hey, I am. I'm like, trying. Why don't you tighten that shit up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the noise came out of my left ear. I'm going to have to switch over in a second. That sucks. Oh, because I have to. Okay, I'm switching over. I was wearing his janky pair. I'm wearing my janky the, pair because my my good pair is. It's a good time to switch over. Sometimes whenever no, well sometimes whenever I unplug it, whenever I have my mic going, it like stops the mic for some reason. So in order to make sure these videos actually fucking air and shit, not like our Resident Evil playthrough that I was it's like lost fuck this, time. it's gone. Because oh, I hadn't even started editing the first session we had, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna let these breathe. To just be there in the abandoned series folder, dude. That fucking Resident Evil dude. series. It was it, fun. It was so fun, but that fucking power outage happened, and literally it, like a minute before, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna loop the recording real quick." And, I, and it only happened for like a second. Yeah. It's like you. Power went out for like a fucking second, and the entire video file just got corrupted, and I couldn't. But not the it. audio file. I still have the audio. Still have the audio. So if we could perfectly replicate the <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> We can stitch it back together. But at that point, that's what's just making the fucking... Exactly. It's because, like, you're already fucking playing it. I know. I want to play Village so goddamn bad, I just want the money for it. I was gonna say, didn't you just upload some shit? Yeah, I played the, the demo? demos, and, like, in the demos, I was like, Hey, listen, it's gonna cost me, like, $500 to, like, become a nurse, like, in the eyes of the government, so I'm not gonna buy this game immediately. But I will play it eventually! But, you know, don't save yourself for me. Yeah, don't fucking... But once you see one one of your favorite people... Well, I'm not anyone's favorite, I'm sure. But once you see one of one, a YouTuber play through it, you've seen all YouTubers play through it. Yeah, but it's, it's like a linear thing. Well, I enjoy... I actually really did like Seven. I just... I really ought to play that. I bought it, I owned it. I don't think I fucking took it out of the packaging. I need to play Seven's it. Seven's good. I liked it. Yeah. It's... It's not exactly what you think of. It's more of a movie Resident. experience, though. Yeah. I'll say that. Not saying that like there's more cutscenes. I just mean like it's more focused on like these three characters and not so much like the world is dying. Quick run. Which is good because I mean it like tightens the scope and like you have to you have to find a way to do a lot with what little you have. So like it's really efficient. Sorry. But it's just like. Every single oh, Resident Evil before that is just so sort of, like explosively huge. You Michael Bay directed. Yeah. Well, like the whole, the whole. Wow. Um, you could go back really far in the Resident Evil timeline and kind of figure out what it was all supposed to be like. And if you go back far enough, you'll find a game called Sweet Home that Capcom made. Sweet Home is a I video game. something like that called Home Sweet Home. Nah. Okay. It's a, it's is it a, Korean? No. Okay, never mind. It's a video game adaptation of a fairly low-budget Japanese horror film of the same name. And it was made by Capcom. It was directed by some Japanese dude, but it was kind of like a love some letter fucking to... fucking squinty-eyed bastard. It was, it was like a love letter to, like, the classic Romero zombie movies. Um... I don't think I've ever watched a Romero zombie movie. The uh, fucking Day of the Dead, Don. Oh, Day. okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Yeah. So, it was a movie like that, and the game comes out, and it's very similar. It's it, it's pretty much exactly like the movie, essentially. And it's pretty good. Like, if you go back and play, like, a fan-translated ROM of it, it's, like, a really good game. Um, so... Capcom comes around again, and they were like, hey, we made this really good game. It was, like, really well-reviewed, but it wasn't exactly commercially um, successful. It's got titties in it! <laughs> what if we remade it and then kind of sold it in the States? 
And they're like, well, we could go and get the rights to the movie again, and then, like... Make a, it, make a movie or a video game adaptation? Well, they were going to do that, but then the director died, and I guess they weren't um, able to, like, get his blessing on the project. So they were like, well, we've done a lot of prep work for this. What if we just made our own series? What if we just did it anyway? Yeah. So, like, they, they came up with the idea of Resident Evil, and they wanted to get, um... Romero to actually write the thing, and Romero did pitch them a script, but they didn't like it. Oh, well. So they ended up writing their own, and that was Resident Evil. We appreciate your input, but we're gonna do it anyway. So the original was kinda always supposed to be a bit like a movie. Um, it's just that they made it like a big explosive Michael Bay type movie, and over time it kinda power creep set in and it got bigger and bigger and more explosive to the point where Resident Evil 6 happened and it's just like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck the entire Earth. None of this matters. Everyone's already dead. The Why whole the Earth is gone. Why do we fucking care? And then Seven moved in and it was like, Seven <laughs> moved in. Ethan Winter. Yeah. He lost wife. <laughs> Tightened the scope and made shit scary again and it felt good. Well, I got a real, real well. Oh, I got a scarf. Why do I get a scarf? Did I pick up a royal present? Uh, you pick... Yes. <laughs> sure. Yes, this star shall be perfect score! Oh, it's called Hallmark, never mind. I'll oh, okay. A hard button. Thought that was the secondary name for it. I realized it was just prompting me to go forward. I found a star in the sky, I'm gonna name it Anime Titties. I'm gonna name it Joy-Con! <laughs> I'm gonna name it Anime Titties! <laughs> That one's bigger than the other one. We should name that Double D. <laughs> this is the Anime Titties Galaxy. I mean, our fucking current star system is called the Milky Way. How fucking different let's can just, it let's, be? Let's just change it to the Milfy Way. How about that? It's literally named after Athena's titties. Like, I want to say... Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's named after Athena's titties? Is Supposedly, that Supposedly, the name itself originates from the fact that when you look up at it in the sky, it looks like a liquid... And, like, the ancient Greeks who proposed the name thought it was, like, milk from Athena's titties or some shit like that. So they called it the Milky Way. Yeah, but it's the same... F <laughs> I Sorry, I had, a, I, had a, I had a reprocessing <laughs> moment there. <laughs> I know! It's like, you ever wonder why we call it the Milky Way? That's the reason why! That same culture fucking oiled themselves up and wrestled nude! And they yes! Didn't, and they didn't let women do it. Why do we still call it the Milky Way? I don't fucking know or care! I just think it's hilarious! I really hope one day we we unearth the Greek... The old, like, from 1400 AD, the Greek museum of hentai. And we've just realized that we've rediscovered hentai, and the Greeks were the first ones to draw oh, women. Yeah. Yeah, they were the originators. That's they, why those old paintings to slam the bussy over there. <laughs> I think you can't wrestle women. Fuck you. Only men. Yeah. And it's not gay. And it's not gay. It's awesome. Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's manly yoga. Only men invited. Don't be relatable. <laughs> Suck your dick. That'll teach you, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> It's essentially what it is. Welcome to Greek culture. God, I hope my fucking future employers never find these videos. <laughs> Who fucking gives a shit? Dude, if I can become a registered government nurse without them looking into my background at all, you'll be fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is permanently ingrained on my digital imprint or whatever the fuck they're called now. Have you seen that shit? What? I don't know the exact acronym, yeah. but there's this, like... New thing on Twitter, not that I'm on Twitter at all, I just hear a lot about it, because I'm, I'm like, where do I get my news from? Memes. I get my news from memes. Pretty much. But like, I just, like, I have all these meme sites, and everyone's talking about this new thing where if you create an image file, and... If, talking about NFTs? That's probably what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, if you buy it, it's your, I mean, other people can have the image too, but like, Solely, like, if you look at, like, the number on it or something, it's yours. Like, yeah. you paid money for it. People are investing in it like like fine art now. Yeah, it's weird. Um, and a lot of YouTubers have started doing it for quick, easy cash. It's I a think, bit of a scheme. I think David Dobrik sold one for, like, half a million dollars, and it's just a picture of him. God. Ugh. It's fucking stupid, but whatever. Cryptocurrency, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Dogecoin's in the move! Yeah, well, god damn it. 
here's here's the thing about that. People are making money hand over fist on it. It's like actually proven to be like one a really penny cool to thing. forty cents, man. That's like what thirty nine whole cents. Well, no, it's one of those things where it's like Dogecoin goes up by like a hundred and twenty thousand percent or something like that. So if you dump like forty bucks into it, you get God knows how much. I know a dude at work who went and bought a fucking pedal board using Dogecoin money. And it was like six hundred dollar pedal board, like it was a big fucking deal. And yeah, I think he maybe put like, God, like a hundred bucks into it and sold it, sold all his Dogecoin, and then ended up essentially multiplying it by six or something like that. He made a Jesus. crazy amount of money off that shit. I wish I was involved in the GameStop thing that happened, man. Oh yeah, that, that would have set me for life. Well, it's. Yeah, I could have kept making stupid YouTube videos like it was my job. <laughs> Retired early. <laughs> retired this retired early. Retired at 23 years old. Oh my god, that would be the tits. And instead, I'm starting my first professional fucking job at 23. I'll be 24 before then. I'm so fucking proud of you, man. I it's... wouldn't be. I'm still the same idiot. I just have more knowledge than. Well, yeah, I mean, you had to shit. work. You had to work way harder than I would have. I don't know what it was about my brain that was like, hmm, I'm gonna become the first college-educated idiot in my family, and I'm gonna do the hardest major there literally is at a, as a, at a bachelor's level. My brain was like, yeah, we can do that, and then I hated the entire time. I literally, fucking look. Yeah, but you fucking <laughs> did it though. Yeah, I, I also like that we haven't talked about how I haven't literally seen you in like seven months or whatever. Yeah, I was gonna explode into the episode with that, but then you did that funny well, we can... joke, and I kind of lost track. <laughs> Inse I got plenty of them, man. I, they've been gathering up. I've been storing. Fuck off, Doge. They've been storing up in my brain. Literally, I'll wake up at like three thirty in the morning sometimes and be like, <laughs> "That'd be funny," and then like I write it down, and sometimes I have to delete it because I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" It's like a weird birth. It, well, not a birthday. It's like a weird drunk present to myself, even though I never get drunk. <laughs> and then sometimes I find memes, and I'm like, "Yeah, but did you expand on this?" And I'm like, "Ha, huh, that's funnier." And maybe it's not. Who fucking cares? That is the that is the process that uh, Gus Johnson uses for all his fucking sketches. What wakes up in a cold sweat and just starts writing? Pretty much, yeah. He was like, I got drunk I and like blacked he... out, and then wrote this in my phone, and then I woke up the next morning and laughed at it and turned it into. Yeah, exa sketch. exactly, exactly. That was where Indiana Jones came from. Indiana Jones. I'm not a. I saw Gus Jordan on Cold One, but I've never like watched his stuff other than like the shotgun one. Oh yeah, that's I've got I'm seventy-three right more bullets right in this, this two-round <laughs> magazine. Like that's the only thing I've seen of him that I've watched. Alaka Blam. Exactly. Yeah. That shit fucking kills me. I do want to start something. I've had. You know me. Whenever I make up something in my head, I have to find like a catchy name for it. Yeah. So there's something in my brain that's been dwelling for a while that I've been calling uh, the six skit shooter, where I just do like six skits in one video that are like small and short and stupid, basically like TikTok, but not on but that me, fucking cancerous platform. But me and like dumb and like low effort shit. But it would be shit like that, just like, Alakablam, and then like, it'd go to the next one. They wouldn't be that long, I'd do like one a week. Well, that's like the genius behind those sketches, is just that like, every single one of them is so fucking low effort and you low have to budget, say... yet they all slay so fucking hard just because he, he's just so funny. I've actually broken this down a while ago. Uh, you have to say something highly repeatable and retarded, <laughs> and then like, once you do that, people will start coming back to it. <laughs> Alec Bland, yeah. Exactly. Exa See, yeah, and you remember that. Like, you have to be quotable. Yeah, you have to be quotable, and then I've also... I've been watching a lot of other, like, Let's Play channels to see, like, like what makes it. Apparently, this is what I've tracked down. You have to have one random idiot that just says off-the-wall shit, and then you have to have one person who's logical. And if you, you have, have to have the straight guy to bounce off of. Yeah, ex yeah. Well, not... not you don't have to be straight, but... <laughs> Yeah, you have to. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? It's like an old. Uh, it's like an old. What am I talking? Like ragtime? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I think it's I like know. an old '30s term meant for like buddy comedy. There's the one weird dude. Who's on straight. first? Yeah, yeah that. exactly. Who's on first? Exactly that. No, what's on second? What the, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then like, if you ever add people, you have to have someone who's like in the middle, so they just randomly bounce shit. I think that's the key to a good comedic duo. Yeah. One random... That's the formula. Dum dum and... I mean, fuck, look at Only Plays. Like, that's the one I watch a lot now. <laughs> and I only... 
And they kind of take turns doing that. Yeah, shit. well, that's the thing. That was what I was going to say. Like, Chris is usually the idiot if he's just by himself with someone else. But if he's ever in a duo or in a trio, he, like, fills that random, like, I can be whatever I want to be role. Yeah, he's the switch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the so, switch. I miss Julian and Ding Dong. Yeah, I miss Ding Dong and Julian. Oh, my God. I miss them. They were good boys. I never thought I'd miss a game end before, but I miss him. Yeah. Just kidding. I'm not. Whatever. Let's continue. I don't know what else I was going to talk about, but that's about it. Uh, I mean, for fuck's sake. It's, it's just been so goddamn long since I've seen Noah. He's been cramming and shit for his school, and I've been working way more hours at my fucking gig. Because they needed to hire people, and they just kind of didn't. So there was like, I started work at Geek Squad, and there was like, maybe... Uh, fat shaming me. Like, what? I said they're fat shaming me. Oh. <laughs> No, I did you good. Keep going. I fucking started, and there was like maybe 12 people doing what I was doing, and now there was five. And we've started doing more work. So, like... Here's a pizza party. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, pretty much. That's, yeah. that's basically what it is. Kind of so. what happened at my job. So I quit. <laughs> so I told him to fuck off. Literally, my boss didn't hire me back for the summer, and then was like, Hey, can you work today? Hey, can you work today? He was like, hmm, that would put me in a full-time position. If you'd like to hire me as a full-time position, I'd love to come in today. But right now, no. Yeah. Like, literally, she asked me today if I wanted to come in, and I was like, mm, I'm good. I don't need that. I mean, I need money, sure, but not from you. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'll get it from my stupid idiot fans. I don't... Every single time I see my sub number go up by one, I'm like, who fucking subbed to me, who and the why? Fuck? <laughs> why? Have you seen some of the shit I say? That's a good feeling, though, I gotta say. I... I've been making that video game for ages, and it's the process has been sucking shit due to like a multitude of factors. And every so often, I see myself get a new follower on Twitter, and I'm like, "Who the fuck are you? What are you doing? <laughs> who the here? fuck are you? I need, I need to know." Who get you out! Are. No, get over here! <laughs> That's Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, you Scorpio! Get over here! <laughs> now, each time someone new pops up, I'm like, "I don't know what you came here for, but you need to leave." Now that being said, if that makes you angry, sub more, you fucking assholes. I don't really care anymore. I've been doing this for almost se restaurant. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost seven years. I really don't fucking care anymore. Oh no, I skipped the cutscene. Oh no, we could have talked. To we could have talked to the kids. Who were the kids were Cosmo, Cosmos or some shit. No, the, I think the kids just like look up at the star. Like, there's no stars, and like the whole time they're trying to get their mom to like recognize that there's no stars in the sky. And then the. I specifically remember at one point the daughter like T poses and says, "I can that's, feel the cosmos." That's that's whenever you do like a like a constellation one. It's like, yeah. I can feel the cosmos. Gemini has returned, and then it's just a picture of my stupid face in the sky because I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Two face. Sorry, my brain just. Did you see me process there for a second? I I'm think, sorry. I think it did. Yeah. How long do we want these? Yeah, shit, baby, I don't know. How long are we, how long are we on? We're at 26 right now. Yeah, keep going. Do one more. Okay. That's fine. Do it again. Today you'll be rolling inside the house. Today you'll be doing the same shit. Today you'll be playing the same map with different music. I hope you're okay with that. Yes. Please. Babe, please, please. have sex with me! I'm so horny! No, I must roll up the world. <laughs> okay. Sex isn't all it's cracked up to be anymore. I've had enough of it. I've, like, leveled up. I've had enough! <laughs> well, not... <laughs> That's why people start smoking, because smoking makes your dick smaller. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Does it? Damn, I'm glad I don't smoke. Smoking makes your dick smaller, so that's why men at, like, 8.30 are like, I don't need it anymore. Fuck it. I need the nicotine, though. Nicotine and an energy drink. That's how I start my day off. That's fucked. Think about it, Zach. You think Caesar's been making all those salads this whole fucking time? Think about it! THINK, MARK! <laughs> Fine! What's 17 <laughs> more years? I can always start again! Make another kid! Oh, fuck you, Honeybear. <laughs> I have not watched that series, but that meme is Neither have fucking I. everywhere. I have, oh, I have had that series recommended to me, and I've been inundated really, with the memes. I really want to watch it. I came downstairs yesterday. My dad watched all of it already. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I came downstairs yesterday, and my sister was being a cunt. So I, I was like, I gotta get I gotta get her train. Like, my, my defense in an argument is just, I gotta I gotta reroute her brain, so she has to think about something else while I think of a comeback. And, like, that was what it was. I was like, FAKE TATE! 
And she's that caught her off guard, and I was like, I can always start again! Make another kid! And then she goes, what? And I was like, yeah, I got you off your groove. I got you off your rhythm. Just like Emperor's New Grieve. That's why he was so upset, and he made that old man, like, get thrown off that shit. I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've interrupted the Emperor's groove. You must perish. You threw it off the Emperor's groove. You know another series that I want to do that's, like, super tiny like this? Chibi Robo. I have Chibi wanted to Robo. play Chibi Robo. Oh, it kind of in the same vein. Yeah, pretty much. Japanese random robot does the cleaning for Dang. everybody, but then like the family goes through a divorce period, and you're oh. like trying to save the family from getting a divorce, and the fucking daughter That's only so fun. the fucking daughter always says ribbit. She doesn't speak like a normal fucking human being, so it adds stress to their emotional relationship. And the dad won't stop buying fucking action figures and shit, so the mom's like, We're going into debt! And the guy, and the, and the, and the, and the man is like, It's fine, man! And he's like, Picture a weeb. Like, what are you picturing right now? Describe what a weeb looks like to you. God, fat t shirt, sweatpants. Wearing... Congratulations, you're missing the Hawaiian shirt, but you've got it. Okay. Mustache, he looks like the guy from Cloudy with a Chance for Meatballs, but like kawaii form. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. I like that game a lot. I never beat it as a kid because I could never figure out what the. That sounds like a game that one of the developers made when he was going through some shit. I loved it. It was great. It was great as a kid. I'd, I'd just walk around the house, grill burgers for the family, and the mom would never come down to eat, and I was like, she's gonna get malnourished, and then I'd keep playing. That's so funny. Sorry, I like to go into really long rants that I don't stop breathing, or I stop breathing just to talk. I'm done now. I'm done now. But yeah, I really do want to play Chibi Robo. That would be one of those ones that'd be like, me, you, Nathan. Get out of the fucking way! The plot for that game sounds like Dude. a fucking SCP or like some sort of weird <laughs> IO game that somebody is, made when they were is. going through some rough breakup it's or fun. something. Just like the George Lopez wake up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to the theme song. They've designated that as an SCP. Really? Yeah, because so many people have Fuck had the you. same experience with it where they'd only wake up for like the intro to Lowrider. I came out here too early. I need to keep I need to go back inside. Uh yeah, it's really, it's really funny. It's an SCP. It's an SCP. God damn it! Fucking George Lopez bouncing through the screen. All my friends call me Low Rider. You just wake up suddenly. First off, if you were a child and you had a TV in your room, you get out of here, you white privileged fucking asshole. It's like Jake Paul saying, oh, "I came from the bottom." I had to do land construction again. Did you see that? No. He won I that can't fucking watch. He Jake won. Paul. No, 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 no. He won that fight, that boxing match, and then like in front of Snoop Dogg, who's been in gangs and shit to like survive as a kid. He was like, "I came from nothing. I had to do landscaping to get by." And like his neighbor outed him. Like it was a whole video of his neighbor. Oh like god. Jake didn't come from nothing. He was the bully of our high school. Oh my god. He did landscaping jobs in a white privileged neighborhood, and then like they showed pictures of the the houses they would landscape, and it was like, like Walt Disney Mansion fucking shit. These were the things he would he would sculpt. I need to find bigger things all over there. Water gun. Squirtle. I've run out of things to say. The episode's over. Get out of here. You want to end it in a weird way? Nah. No, we don't that have to end it now. I I've just. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hang on. Me. Let's talk about it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was thinking about. I've, I've. I've started to adopt random ways to end my episodes that make no sense, like chimps break down the door and shit, and like I'm screaming for no reason, and there's chimp sound effects. Your production value was going higher. Yeah, I need new mics, man. I've been looking into ones that are like $300, but I want to get like multiple. I don't know how the condenser thing works, though. Oh, I get it. Like how you, you, you hook it condenser up. Condenser or dynamic? I don't know, just how you get it into one track, but it's two mics. Uh-oh. Well, honestly, I thought that's what a condenser did. No. Condenser is a kind of microphone. There's condenser mics and dynamic mics. Um, hang on. No, I'm talking about, like, the console you plug it into, or whatever. You're like, thinking about an external sound card, or, like, a music that, table. That, yeah, that's probably what yeah. I'm thinking of. Um, we're so... Good. We're big enough now, we can get the water guns. Yeah, we'll be fine. But yeah, I can sit you straight on all that shit, that's... Because that. <clears throat> I was looking into Sennheiser ones. Yes, those are great. But uh, then I saw this company called Sure. Sure makes good stuff as well. And I, uh, their mics... It's not that they're more affordable, they're, they're about the same price, but they look more professional, I want to say, I guess. 
Screwdrivers! Put one in my brain. I mean, honestly, between the two, I... It doesn't matter. I mean, like, either way, I, I know would. I'm gonna get a good mic. But I need to get, like, two or three of them, so I'm, like, looking... Because whenever I move out this summer, hopefully I move out this summer, I'm going to create Man Cave, and I'd like to actually have microphones for human beings who are not just one that I just like, okay, I Put hope it corner. catches us. Yeah. I'm glad that one's lasted us this far, though. Well, you bought it, I didn't fucking... Exactly. The other one was fine that I was using, and then you are like, so no, this one, and I was like, okay. I guess Sound. I'm not gonna say no. That sounds better. I appreciate the up in quality between those two. Is that? Oh God, I think I got that for you like three or four years ago. It's yeah, long ago. Yeah. It, um, everyone who's seen my big fat fucking dick microphone, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> it's got a black cue to it. That's how you know it's good. Yeah. And it's got all kinds of knobs and shit that we can dial in. Yeah. Too bad I've like. This is too loud. This is too soft. This is just right. And I've left it there the entire time. I mean, shit, baby. That's one way. Give me the fucking teddy bear! Okay, I've got the... I've, I've acquired the dandelions. Quick, make it into a tea. I've acquired the dandelions. I've acquired the weed. Get it? Do you get it? Because it's a weed? Because it's a weed? This whole house smells like weed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me an edible, bro. I have them over there. You got edible? Oh, did I not tell you that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, I have stories for later. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have so many my stories. Man's got stories. I don't want to. I'm going to wait for Nathan to get here just so I don't have to, like, reiterate them and ruin it. But oh, yeah. I will wait on the. I have so. <laughs> Tune in later for probably the Jack and Dexter series or whatever the fuck. But I don't know what series we're going to. I hope it's Jack and Dexter. I hope I don't. We can definitely get through that today if he comes over. Like, but, beat the whole game? Yeah, that's why I want to do it. That's yeah. why I want to do it. I don't know if we can beat this. This is just kind of like mindless. Like each level takes thirty minutes. Anyway, I, I have uh, I have a story about me catching an eight hundred pound woman. I want to talk about. Okay. And uh, I have a story about my first weed experience. Nice. And it was not my fault that I. Literally, my coworkers were just like, "Hey, Noah, you look depressed. Let's take you to the dispensary." And I was like, oh, thanks, guys. That makes me really happy. Hey, we've identified that there's probably something wrong in your life, and it's affecting the way that you look. Smoke some weed with us, maybe. <laughs> the worst fucking, like, Noah, you're depressed. Take this plant. <laughs> Give me the plant. Bro, I mean my depression potion. Uh, my yeah. sister's kind of into smoking now and shit, and I guess she's got all kinds of stank that she's been trying to hook stank. me up with. Take the stank, get the dank. Have I even made it? I haven't even made it yet. Jesus fucking Christ. I've been zoning out, talking about shit. Honestly, I want to kind of keep you in that headspace because it's fun. Oh no, the race cars. What, what do you mean I'm not big enough? enough? I was going to say, how are you not big enough for the race cars? Big enough cars? for a fucking soccer ball, but not enough for fucking... Go all the way up to a meter, you've got like fucking 40 seconds. I don't think I'm going to make it, man. You got this. Pick up the... Yeah, the briefcases. I can't pick up cats and shit and... Oh, quick turn! Did you hear me spam? I do. That, the only, I like that. I like that move, but at the you same time, the it's now. so fucking hard to cars. like aim it. Oh, the race cars! Yeah, but you gotta hit them, and then you gotta. Yeah. I yeah. We got 15 seconds to get 20 or 30. I can't count either. That's why I'm not a math miner or a miner. I'm a Caucasian. Anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had a white privilege. My man's here. over here being college educated. That's right, everybody. Cultural appropriation. Wear a fucking sombrero for Sunday You're money. so mediocre, I should just kill you. Why am I being punished? I'm, I'm picturing him in the fucking... You can always have another Prince of the Cosmos. <laughs> I might have broken all the stars, but you're a fucking cunt. I'm sorry. I was absorbed in thought, Sigvard. That's another thing we need to finish. That assholes. That'll just be a three-year-long fucking series. We'll just yeah, play yeah, yeah, just drag that to us. Play. Drag that with us into the next millennium. Fuck it. Play it in 135. Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're playing Dark Souls 3. We're, we're on the DLC now. <laughs> the Ring City. 40 more years of Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Oh, I would like to have a series that's just a hundred episodes long for no reason. You can play Earthbound. No! You really think I'd take you a hundred hours to beat? I started playing it again, and I've been playing it for probably like mm, ten hours now, and I'm not even like a quarter of the way through the fucking game. I haven't started on I already have a crab. We're making cancer today, kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are making cancer. Today we boil the cancer in the pot and make sure it's green. High quality I cancer is always green. I can't fucking see this level without thinking of the uh, game drums. Craft. Do you like it to craft? The me What the fuck? I have not watched. You haven't seen that? No. The only uh, the last like the only things was... I watch from Aaron and Dan anymore are like. It was it was one the, of the 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 well, I think they did it because Dan's so fucking afraid of COVID. I, I think it's more Aaron than Dan. Oh my god, this boy swagger souls! He's, he's styling. He's got the fucking... He's got the fucking... I didn't know anything else to say with swagger, so I immediately I think, like, souls came after it. Dude, he's a YouTuber. Swagger I know he's souls? a YouTuber. My brother watches him. I don't watch him. I, I saw funny. him on Cold Ones. I really like Chad and Max. So. His voice is, like, perfect. Yeah, but that's, like, a fake hey, voice. Guys. No, that's his voice. Oh, I thought he. I thought he said that he does the voice that way. People in public who find him, like he's like, "Have you ever heard of Swagger Souls? You sound a lot like him." Like I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> he also said that he has a because he's completely anonymous. Yeah. He's he also said that he has an out like uh, a closet for Swagger Souls and a closet for himself. That way, he never he's never seen in the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, man! Wow, that's that's impressive. That's clever, I know. He's, he's thought about it a lot. Uh, Life of Boris is kind of the same, where he's only ever on camera in a ski mask, and he moves European countries Ooh. often. Life of Boris. No, just... no, no. I was I was about to do the black guy meme, where like he's on he's on. Uh... Oh, what's that stupid thing that people like go on and then like they're like I want to meet new friends, but then it's always Omegle. yeah. It's, but then it's always people just jerking off. And... Oh yeah, that's yeah, a it, That, but it's a black guy in a ski mask, and he's just. Some fucking emo is like telling him that he's terrorizing children, and he goes, "Who cares? Who? Cares? I do. Who it. cares?" And like just constantly, and she keeps getting louder and louder, and he just keeps <laughs> saying, "Who children. cares?" Who? Yeah. I did see that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you had to like really break it down for me I know, before I, I remember what the yeah. fuck it was. But yeah, I do you know, know what you're about. She was just getting so mad. It was very funny. She had some pimped up anger. Somebody yeah. didn't give her a Snickers bar that day. Oh yeah, music. Give me the head crab. Thank you. <laughs> the horseshoe crab. It's a head crab now. That's the other thing I really want to get VR. Like that's another uh, big you want to play thing. Alex. Well, no, no, that just brought me to VR. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd really appreciate this summer getting VR if I ever get my fucking life together, getting a house, and then. Where are you gonna get that out? I don't know, but I am not going to an apartment. I'm literally graduating straight to house. I do not care. Uh, I'm, I'm too of, old for an apartment. I don't fucking give a shit. I'm honestly kind of in the same boat. I would rather have a mortgage and then pay that off and then have, like, equity that I can then sell. Oh, God, we're talking about adult things. Yeah. All right, where's the youth shotgun? Someone shoot me with it. Someone fucking shoot me with a regular <laughs> shotgun. Fortnite! TikTok! There it is. I figured it out. Just <laughs> kill yourself, I'm picking up things that aren't crabs. I hope he doesn't mind a flower pot cancer star. Give me. Oh yeah, that is the point. <laughs> yeah, that's the point I of this. Forgot. Point. Yeah. Good thing I'm paying attention, right? Yeah. Come here, you bitch! You're big enough now. <laughs> the last thing I played that had crabs. Spider right? crabs are fucking terrifying. Oh know? my god! Yeah, there's. A, oh, I th what did I play? I think it's called Narcos. It was. It, well, it, it's a horror game that it, you're a diver stuck on the bottom of the sea, and like the the only enemies that chase you are like gigantic, like mythos level crabs. Oh. It's scary. I'm just gonna sit here until the pole comes back up. There we go. <laughs> you like a fucking shish kebab. Give me all the crabs. How many crabs do I need? Hey, I got a symbol monkey, and it's spelled Nothing wrong. Nothing to do with monkey. You, have you seen uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla? No. Oh. Don't plan to, so feel free to ruin it. No, I'm not going to ruin it. I just... I wanted to say monkey flip. Monkey flip. Ah! 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 Yeah. 
I miss Monkey Flip. I wish that was around more. <laughs> I hear the music used in other shit. I have no idea what the fuck that song is, but I've heard it in other I don't know what the fuck it is either. It's just funny. It activates the serotonin in my brain. <laughs> Neuron activated. Dude. No, that's whenever she abs. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, nice! Give me fire extinguisher crabs. Fire extinguishers have crabs, right? That's a, that's you know what's sad? I bet I bet the woman in the room over there has crabs like in her pubic region, and like that's like the last. That's crab. the tie-in. That's, that's that's the, the whole the, gag. That's the whole reason why she's there. Hey, I got a persimmon. <coughs> I was about to ask what a persimmon was, but then I realized what it was <coughs> after. I Will you fucking stop? I'm sorry. You allergic to persimmons? Yes! Well, oh, fucking get over it. I'm gonna make a persimmon pot. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. Alright. Glad we got that out of the way. I don't think there's any more- Oh no, there's one. I was like, I don't think there's any more crabs anywhere. Render up to me. Give me your six legs! That's- wait, six, eight. right? One, two, three- yep, that's eight. Mm-hmm. Multiples of eight, go. Eight, sixteen, thirty-two, five, four-bit, eight-bit, two-bit, angry nerd guy, I don't fucking know. What are you doing? This is this is how this is my functional idea span. Give me the small crab. Okay, I got it. Got it. Thank you. Very small. I think I got all of them. I think you did. I mean, you might be able to get out of here somehow. I'm trying to look around. Let me look around. No, I don't want to move. I want to look. Uh. Yeah, I think. Jump. Get it to uh, one fourteen. Oh shit. According to the bullshit. No, that's how many I have. Oh. Oh, uh, there's one. Give me crap. Give me the crap. I gotta take my pizza rolls out of the oven, guys. The oven's going off. I'm just gonna sit here and let it. <laughs> I literally don't. Oh no, there's the tiny ones in here. It's almost not worth getting the small ones you now. You can't because... hardly fit yourself into that fucking corner anymore. Yeah, it's okay, I got a dish rag. I got it. <laughs> I've acquired the dish rag. Get those it smells like chloroform. <laughs> hey, does this smell like chloroform? Excuse me, man. Does this smell like chloroform to you? That's how you get a Tinder date in 2021. Yeah. Don't worry, folks. If you're ever worried about a chloroform attack, wear a mask. 87%? There's probably like 10 more. Fuck you! Hey, look, there's a crab in the hand. There's a crab. One crab in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> oh no, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the cutscene you're thinking of. Yeah. I feel the cosmos. Asserting dominance with a T pose. Cancer came scuttling. Yeah, out. that shape looks like a crab. Who the fuck looked at that and I, thought it looked like a crab? Galileo. I don't fucking know. Galileo. That's, That's the only dumb. astronomer I know. Well, we're at 46. We might yeah, as well right, this we're going to cut this shit. Okay, I'm going to put a scarf on. Put a scarf on. Yes. Yes. Now I look pretty. Styling and profiling. Another cousin has arrived. Oh, God. Zach, it's Alabama Planet. We have to leave. <laughs> it's Alabama Planet. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> nice callback. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.